So once your dough comes together, like you saw in the last picture, um, you're going to want to get some flour down on the counter, a little bit on your hands, and now it's time to work with your hands. So um, make sure your bracelets and everything are off, that way you don't get flour all caked up in them. Your dough's going to be warm because you used warm water. And the first step, I always say, try to pack it like a snowball. There's a few extra ingredients in the bottom of the bowl. I just kind of sprinkle those on. Hopefully they'll get incorporated in. So first step, try to make that snowball with your dough. But you want to be very gentle with your dough. So the next step is we're going to place it on your counter, on the flour, with the ball of dough and you are going to knead the dough. So when you knead the dough, use your fingertips and the bottom of your hand right here, and you take that ball of dough, pull it back towards you, and then you press down with the bottom of your hand. And then you turn it either left or right. So pull back with your fingertips, press down with the bottom of your hand, and then turn. So this is the mixing method when you use yeast. Uh, completely different from our biscuits and our soda bread because this is a yeast bread, not a quick bread. So um, your recipe says to knead for about seven minutes, but you'll kind of know when the dough is finished because um, it'll stop kind of forming. Um, so pull it back with your fingertips, press down with the base of your hand. Don't press down with your fingertips because then you're going to get all of this dough under your fingernails. So press down with the bottom of your hand. and. You just keep rolling. If your dough starts to stick to the counter, we'll just move the flour around and get it worked back in. So you're kneading the dough, kneading the dough. Take your time. It's no rush. Um, you don't want to be super rough with the dough, but make sure you are pressing it down and out and make sure you're turning it every time. So what you're actually doing when you knead the dough, you're actually developing gluten. So you've probably heard of people being gluten free. Um, they can't have um, certain types of bread products. So what that means is they can't actually um, digest gluten. So gluten is developed in the dough by you know mixing it or kneading it. It's a protein in the dough. So if someone's gluten free, that means they can't digest the protein, just like someone's lactose intolerant, if you think about it that way. So gluten is important for your cinnamon roll dough because it's what's going to make um, the dough become elastic and stretch. So we're kneading the dough. You're not going to actually know how well you kneaded the dough because until tomorrow because you're not going to stretch it out until tomorrow. So if your water temperature was in the perfect range between 101 and 111, your dough should double in size. If it doubles in size, that means you activated the yeast and woke it up and it's rising. So right now, if you just press down and starts to push back up, um, you can see that it is actually working. Um, but like I said, um, yeast requires much more time and um, more attention than that, those quick breads. So it takes quite some time. So just keep kneading the dough Please don't eat the raw dough because what's in there that could possibly have a microorganism on it is your egg, right? So you don't want um, to eat the raw dough. I know sometimes it's hard, uh, but it's just, it's not like cookie dough. It's, it wouldn't be sweet anyway. So don't eat the raw dough, stay safe. So just keep kneading. Once your dough stops, maybe it'll get really hard. Um, once it stops forming back together, it's kind of telling you, hey, I'm finished. So right now I've been doing about four minutes and I can tell that it's actually almost finished. And when it's finished, you want to, um, you need to let it sit before you start day two, about 40 minutes so that the dough can rise. And then when the dough rises, after about 40 minutes, it's going to be really soft again and you'll be able to roll it out and stretch it. All right, so um, I'm going to let this rest. Um, you want to grease your bowl a little bit. Use your, you know, cooking spray or grease it with some butter. And um, I usually just put a dish towel over it. That way 
Uh, it can rise. Some people preheat their oven so it's nice and warm because depending on how warm it is in your kitchen depends on how this yeast um, works. So it needs a nice warm environment. So um, I will cover it with a towel, keep it nice and cozy so it rises and doubles in size and that way we have a great cinnamon roll dough. So I will um, see you tomorrow.